Tonight, the incentive to get Bundaberg on the move. A man knocked off his scooter in a serious crash. Moves to break the cycle of domestic violence. And magical scenes as humpbacks put on a show. Across the wide Bay Burnett, this is 7 Local News with Rob Bruff. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. Bundaberg Regional Council is dangling a carrot in front of developers, offering discounts of up to 100% on infrastructure charges. It's hoping the scheme will stimulate local development and create more jobs in our region. A man was knocked to the ground when his motorised scooter crashed into a car in Bundaberg last night. Emergency services were called to the corner of Barolan and Vitra streets around 6.30pm. Welfare workers concerned over an increasing number of families in the Bundaberg area needing to escape domestic violence. CQ University has joined forces with Bundaberg's Churches of Christ Care to help them identify bad situations and when the abuse isn't just physical. Police are urging us to make sure that our homes are securely locked after a series of break-ins in Bundaberg. They're investigating after three homes were broken into in Avenal Heights between July 14 and 18. The Friendlies Foundation has made its first donation to the private hospital to help expand the oncology unit in Bundaberg. The new centre will be the largest private oncology facility between the Sunshine Coast and Townsville. Fraser Coast Regional Council is hoping to start fresh produce exports to Taiwan. It comes after 25 Taiwanese food buyers visited the Fraser Coast last week. The whale season has officially begun with tourism operators saying it's shaping up to be a good one. Our cameras were treated to an exclusive trip out on the Quick Cat 2 to Platypus Bay, where a juvenile humpback whale put on a spectacular show. If you want to book a trip, spectacular photographs there. A Bundy Cafe takes out a top food award. We'll have that story in a moment. And how butting out has changed over the years. Nice having you with us on 7 News. Bundaberg's In Demand Cafe Indulge has taken out another top food award. It's won the People's Choice category for the second year running at the Good Food Awards in Brisbane. The Barabara community has rallied to raise some money for a young girl who's in desperate need of a heart and lung transplant. Rihanna Worry's condition will eventually lead to the right side of her heart failing if she doesn't receive a transplant. It's been 10 years since Tough Laws saw smokers having to butt out at pubs and enclosed public spaces around our state. Tonight in Rewind, Peter Byrne takes a look at how perceptions of smoking have changed over the decades and the new laws about to make it even tougher for smokers. OK, Nath, let's get into the sport now, mate. One of the Across the Waves players picked for the Queensland Rangers this weekend, mate. Yeah, that's right, Bruffy. Former Q Cup utility Reuben Bailey is a late call-up for Saturday's rep game down on the Gold Coast. We'll have more on that next. And Bundy's Kel Tressida gears up for what could be a season-defining round in the Aussie Racing Car Championships. Welcome back to 7 News. Across the waves, utility Reuben Bailey has been given a last-minute call-up to play for the Queensland Rangers this weekend. The 23-year-old, who's also played in the Queensland Cup, will line up against the New South Wales Rugby League's Ron Massey Cup side down on the Gold Coast. Bundaberg's Kel Tresseter believes his Aussie Car Racing Championship title hopes could be dashed this weekend in Ipswich if he doesn't produce a big result. Tresseter is sixth in the standings after he came seventh in Darwin last month. Harvey Bay's Toby Power has been selected to represent Queensland in cross country after a standout performance at the States. He'll join 60 other athletes chosen from more than 1,000 competitors at the National Championships later this year. Great work there from Toby and his coach, Rick, as well. Hope they do well in camp. Oh, mate. absolutely, mate. Yeah, good on you, Nath. Lives along in a moment. Latest on the weather after the break. We're back soon here on 7.
G'day, Olivia Regano with uh, tonight's weather. Pleasant weather ahead for the Darling Downs and the Wide Bay Burnet, with the potential for some pretty high temperatures, especially at night. There's a bit of stubborn cloud hanging around, but little if any rain for the foreseeable future. Temperatures today across the Wide Bay Burnet. The range in Bundaberg was 17 to 25 degrees with a humidity of 59% this over. Harvey Bay also had 25. Maribor very, very warm on 27. And Gympie had a top of 25. On the satellite loop now, cloud is starting to break, but it's only slow. Still lots of it left across uh, North Queensland, uh, the central interior. Uh, where there's still some showers falling uh, and of course just brushing across New South Wales could affect the southern downs tomorrow but over southeast Queensland and the wide bay it's been generally fairly quick clear now for today's chart uh, once again we got a lot of fog this morning just in the vicinity of this weak high pressure system where the winds are really light and we've got a lot of moisture left over from the recent rain uh, in the north of course the winds are a little bit stronger but still quite light coming in from the east and they're sustaining the showers that inland trough is getting the inland showers going Tomorrow's chart, not much change on the surface. By this stage, the upper level low finally moves off the coast and breaks up. So most of the cloud covering the Queensland interior uh, basically dices into almost nothing. Then for the outlook chart, it starts to get warm. Uh, we get northwesterlies coming across southern Queensland. Could be near record-breaking minimum temperatures anywhere in the state. Light winds in the vicinity of this high and hardly any rain. Latest now from the Weather Bureau. Boating forecast for Harvey Bay waters. Hardly any breeze tomorrow, so take the opportunity to use your tinny. Seas shouldn't be any higher than a metre. Northwesterly is developing on Friday up to 10 to 15 knots. Fraser Island offshore. North to northwesterly is around 10 to 15 knots already tomorrow, but uh, seas no more than a metre at first. But then winds increasing to 15 to 20 knots on Friday and holding strength through Saturday. Tomorrow's high tides at Burnet Heads around 9.17am, Urangan Pier at 9.24, Waddy Point just before 9 o'clock, that's on Fraser. The Wide Bay Burnet District, partly cloudy tomorrow with some early fog, otherwise a warm and pleasant day. Bundaberg 14 up to 25 degrees, Gympie 12 to 26, Harvey Bay 24, Maribor 26 again. And looking ahead for Bundaberg, temperatures lingering around the mid-20s as we head into the weekend. There's still a bit of cloud around but no rain's expected. And that's it for tonight. Don't forget if you have any weather-related photos you'd like me to put on TV or special questions about weather, just shoot us an email at asklivio at 7.com.au. Enjoy what's left of the evening, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Back to the team. What a follow you've got on your mate. Thanks very much for your company, folks. We'll catch you again tomorrow. Reminder, if you missed any of our news, we have the replay on 7.2 coming up in a moment. From the team... It's 7 o'clock. Good night.